previous video I explain ornament operating mode. But before I show you how to repeat beat you hear now, I am going to remind you methods we already discussed. Metronome from two cells is the basic source of triggers and sync signal. If you take triggers from only one cell, time between triggers or its frequency depends on sum of cells time parameters. If you take triggers from both cells, differences of time parameters control swing of such signal. If you connect trick outs of both metronome cells to cell 3, it allows you to use one trick converter instead of two. Frequency divider is the cell which takes flow of triggers from some source, for instance metronome loop. At the moment of activation it generates a trigger. If time parameter of this cell more than period of metronome loop, trigger will be generated less frequently than in the metronome loop. We can say that cell divides metronome frequency by some factor, like 2, 3, 4, etc. Time parameter of the cell controls this factor. This happens because you cannot activate already active cell. More details presented in part 2 of this tutorial series. In this video I'll show you new techniques of creating rhythms with ornament. Before we rebuild rhythm I show at the beginning. Let's start new patch with metronome loop. Cell 1 triggers hi-hat module of pulsar. Let cell 3 be a frequency divider. Connect trick out of cell 2 to trick in of cell 3. Connect cell 3 pulsar out to trick converter. Connect out of converter to trick input of bass drum of pulsar. If you haven't got pulsar, you can use mini jack adapters to trigger your own modular if you have one. For more details of connectivity, see part 1 of this tutorial series. Nothing bothers me, create second frequency divider and add its triggers to kick drum. Now kick button consists from sum of triggers from two cells. Trigger addition is a new technique we will use in next examples. Resulting pattern depends only on two knobs. Both knobs control division factors of cells. You can add more frequency dividers to this pattern if you want to bring more complexity to the rhythm. It's very important to understand that all bass drum triggers appear at the same moments with metronome triggers. This happens because frequency divider in fact just selects first trigger and ignores several next triggers. But all triggers generated only by metronome loop. Metronome loop generates equally distanced triggers, so it means we always get perfectly quantized rhythm linked to metronome grid. But what if I want diversify pattern with, for instance, some hi-hats out of metronome grid to create illusion that basic grid is more complex than it is. To do it, use tricky delay technique. Cell 1 is a trick source for hi-hat. Let's create copy of this trigger source delayed for some period. Connect cell 2 trick out to trick in of cell 5. Just connect trick out of cell 5 to trick in of cell 6. 
connect pulsar out of the cell to trick converter to add triggers to hi-hat module. Now triggers from this cell is a copy of triggers from cell 1 delayed by time parameter of cell 5. Now slowly increase time parameter of cell 5 to hear how triggers offset. Now we get pairs of hi-hat sounds and second one is linked to original. Now I mute triggers from cell 1. Increase time parameter of cell 5 until it starts to divide metronome frequency. Now we bring more variety to straight metronome pattern. To create such delayed trigger chain, we use two cells, 5 and 6, but there is way to achieve the same result without using cell 6. Disconnect alligator clip from pulsar out of cell 6 and connect it with the pulsar out of cell 5. Delayed triggers disappear because cell 5 activates at the same time with cell 1, which generates original triggers. Here is the trick. Toggle cell 5 tumbler to lower position to bring delayed triggers back. Pause video and try to figure out why this happens. Then cell is in negative operating mode, its pulsar out is inverted. So in this mode cell generates triggers not at the moment of activation but at the moment of deactivation. This method works with any cell. By the way, toggle cell to middle position to mute all outgoing triggers of this cell without change of periodicity. Just one more way to slightly change your pattern. To sum up, create metronome loop, create several frequency dividers with different factors, Add their triggers to create interesting pattern. Create a delayed copy of some trigger source to enhance variety of your rhythm. Play with the white factors and cells operating modes. Now let's rebuild patch from intro. Create metronome loop using cell 1 and cell 2. Connect cell 2 trick out to trick in of 4 cells. Before activate metronome, I mute cells connected to it. In my patch, cell 3 and cell 4 send triggers to kick, cell 5 sends triggers to snare drum and cell 6 sends triggers to hi-hat module. All these cells is frequency dividers and its time parameters control division factors. Let division factor of hi-hat be 1. Activate metronome to hear hi-hats. Now I turn cell 5 on positive mode to hear snare drum. I won't hear it every fourth metronome beat, so I need to find no position. After all, turn on cell 3 and cell 4 to hear the kick. To diverse kick behavior, let's use technique with triggers delay and invert cell 4. Now find good position of time knob. Be 
it is done. But now you can control rhythm properties just by changing of division factors or by muting of cells. This patch based only on basic methods but gives you new interface of constructing rhythms. You need no to remember positions of triggers on 16 step grid. You need no change pages to find that exact trigger you want to change. Just one knob rotation and you change position of all triggers you want to change. In next video we met pass out and its possibilities. So see you next video.